In the last video, I talked about binding, uh, specifically how to take a attribute of some DOM item and associate it with Alpine data, uh, cr essentially creating a link from your DOM to your Alpine data. We could take this a step further and talk about how to bind form attributes to Alpine data. And what will be cool about that is that it's going to be two-way. So I could take, for example, a simple input type uh, equals text, bind it to my Alpine data. And if the Alpine data changes, so will the form field. If I type something in my uh, form field, then so will the Alpine data. So to work with this, we have yet another directive, x uh, model, and it works on all form fields except for input type equals file. Uh, that one is a bit special because you can't use JavaScript to write to it for security reasons, but don't worry, I have an example later on showing you how to work with it. Even cooler, uh, this uh, x dash model directive supports uh, various directives to kind of bind the data in a different way. Uh, this will come in handy when we want to take the string value of a input field and make it numeric. All right, so let's look at this example we have here. I have an Alpine application with three variables, name, is cool, and age. And I'm gonna drop in a paragraph tag to kind of show you the binding in action. So at first I have just a simple span X text. This is a direct uh, bind. And I do the same for is cool as well. Uh, I'm only gonna show it if the value is true. If I change my name to Raymond, you'll see that the span that used the X text is automatically updated and I can modify that all I want and it just works. Uh, let's actually do a bit more in here and add some form field controls. This time I'm gonna add one that is bound to is cool. You'll see it defaults to true because you know, obviously I'm very cool. Uh, but now if I change cool to false, uh, you will see that additional text goes away. If I make it true again, it goes back to there. And if I were to make this false, uh, it should default now to being no. All right, one more thing I wanna show. I'm gonna add in a new span and I'm gonna put it here. And basically it says, hey, you know, next year I will be age plus one years old. And initially it's gonna work correctly but watch this, if I change my age to 51, instead of getting 52, I get 511. That's because the value here is a string. And when you add a number to a string, it's just going to append it to the end. Luckily, Alpine makes it very easy. It has a couple of different um, modifiers you can add, but we're just gonna work on one here. I just type dot number. And now when Alpine reads this, it's going to automatically parse it to numbers. So if I set it to 52, it will set it correctly to 53. <clears throat> 53. 